Hi guys, let's make ogbono soup. Original ogbono soup. So these are my these are my ingredients. This is the ogbono. I've already grinded it into powdery form. Very very smooth, as you can see. It's a dry one. You grind it with a blender or anything. Then this is my Titus fish or scrumbia. I've already washed it. Then here is my meat. The meat I'll be using. I'll be using chicken. So I've already washed and set it. Then this is my red oil. Then this is my crayfish. I've already pounded it. Then here is my locust bean, popularly known as obey. So this is my pepper. I've already blended it. That is fresh pepper. I've already blended it. And here is my stock fish, also known as oporoko. And here is my dry fish. It's already dry. See, I'm going to be soaking it. So here now is my salt, my seasoning powder, then and this is okra. I've already chopped and diced it. And this is my oha. You'll be wondering, is it a bonus I want to cook? <laughs> yeah, you add these two things here, obono eh? You will love it. So first of all, I'm going to start by steaming my meat. I will pour my meat in the pot season it so i'm going to add a little water just a very little water then add my stock fish which is the oboroko then add my seasoning powder then i'll add salt to taste then i'm going to stir together and cover to boil so here it has boiled it has steamed very well i'm going to add more water that is what i'll be using to cook the main food that is the main soup then i will stir and add my blended pepper so after adding my blended pepper I just rinse the plate of the pepper. Then I added more water. Stir again. Then I will cover to boil. So here it's been boiling. The meat is ready. So I'm going to pour the uh, my dry fish I've soaked and washed. Then I will stir it. So I'm going to add my Titus fish. That is the scrumbia. Turn it. That is I will stir gently so that it won't break. But they just remain in one piece. Then after stirring it, I cover to boil, and now it's ready. So now I'm going to remove the meat stock. That is the, the water from the meat. Then I placed my pot on fire. The, the pot I'll be using for the soup. Pour in my red oil. Then I just allowed it to melt. Then I'm going to put my locust bean, which is okay to pieces the oil will help break it since i didn't use water to blend so i'm going to break it in the oil and after breaking in the oil i will add my ogbono powder then i will stir it don't allow it to fry don't allow it to fry at all i'm just breaking it later i finish breaking it i'm going to be adding my meat stock or hot water don't add cold water it's not advisable i'm going to add my meat stock my meat stock is a is hot water so here yeah, i've finished breaking it you can see it's now smooth the lumps are finished breaking so 
so here now i'm adding my meat stock you see very hot so i'll give it a gentle stir yeah, as you can see it's already drawing like drawing no obona is known for its drawing nature and i'm going to add hot water to the consistency i want my soup to be some people have like it very thick obona why some people like it very light me i like it in between so i will stir the water then i will cover and allow it to boil so here now it's been boiling you can see it it's boiling so i'm going to just stir it you can see is the consistency is very nice it is it's now smooth so now i'm going to be steaming it with a low heat you see i don't really cover the pot properly just allow it to steam on a low heat keep stirring keep checking on it allow it to cook very well so now i'm adding my meat my fish the proteins i'm using for the for the soup then i'll stir it you can see your soup is already looking yummy the next step i'm going to be adding my seasoning then i will add my okra this is actually very optional you can eat your obonos obonos soup plain then i added my crayfish then stirred at this point the aroma was sent so so sweet you can see the look you can see the, the look he gave the obono the okra gave the obono so okra is very very optional the vegetable is also very optional you can eat it plain you can eat it with with your okra and other vegetable of your choice so i will allow it to to uh, boil a bit then the vegetable i'm using which is oha i'm going to be adding it then add salt paste be checking your salt paste i don't measure i use my eyes to measure and it comes out well so you stir it and look at the look look at the face of the soup you can see how beautiful it's looking so you just allow it to, to boil a bit and your obono soup is ready to be served what swallow are you intending to use for this delicious soup do you want fufu do you want semo do you want wheat do you want a bar that is gare which one are you going to be using for this delicious soup? So here now I'm going to be dishing my Ogbono soup. See how the thing is drawing. It's drawing into my soul. <laughs> so I'll dish it. And I'm going to be using Semovita to enjoy this delicious Ogbono soup. So if you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like my videos you like what you see right and here my semovita is ready you can see how it's looking and it's very very yummy thanks for watching guys